Hey guys, so welcome back and thanks for stopping by. So today I want to talk about what I think is the most important skill to have as a quadcopter pilot, and that is the ability to fly in circles. Nothing else com really compares to that in terms of uh, what makes good quadcopter shots, in my opinion. It has a much better dynamic to your videos when you can have something in the foreground and then the, the background is coming around from side to side that's a really great drone shot it is more difficult so with practice you will get better so today i've got three techniques that i want to go over of how to improve your quadcopter shots from getting from novice to competent and all you have to do is practice so let's get to it so let's go check out flying in circles Okay, so what we want to do first to set this up, you just want to get up high enough above your target and we're going to fly over to it. What you want to do is get directly on top of it. Alright, so right now I've got my gimbal can pointed directly down right on top of this water tower. And what I'm going to do is go to pointometrist mode. It's telling you your altitude. I am 257 feet up. Right now I'm gonna hit apply. I don't have to highlight the box or anything like that. I just hit apply. And then what you wanna do is just back out of that shot and set up, you know, how you want this, how this point of interest to look really. And again, it's just the basics. I'm not adjusting the altitude or anything. I'm just kind of showing, okay, this is exactly how I wanna have the shot set up. Set my camera up kind of like that. Go a little bit further back. All right, so maybe about like that. And then you just hit start. Tells you what the sticks do. The cool thing about this is your sticks work perfectly fine. And we'll just go five miles an hour to the right. And it'll just start doing that, everything by itself. So this is fully 100% automated. I'm gonna hide this screen. We can come back to that just by tapping that again. So I'll hide it. But it does a perfect POI, goes in a nice circle. And this is at five miles an hour. So the cool thing about doing this automated is your sticks work. So if I wanted to fly closer to this thing, I push my right stick forward and it's still gonna keep the same track on the, uh, on the object and I'll go closer. And then if I wanna go further back, kind of pan away from it, it's so smooth. So I'm going for a little bit further away as I am still going in a circle. It's awesome, All right? Still further away. This is a good way to, you know, avoid getting in any kind of issues because, you know, if you have trees nearby or things like that, you can help, but you can kind of go in and out on your radius. So, still on my right hand stick, I'm, I had it set at five miles an hour. And let's just say I wanted to go a little bit faster five miles an hour, than five miles an hour. So, I just do the right stick and see how it kind of speeds that up, kind of zooms past that. All right, piece of cake. So, now I'm going to go back to my, let's go back around this way. So, now I go four and a half, four miles an hour. I like to do these really slow just so it's nice and smooth so here's another cool thing as you're panning <clears throat> in this orbit mode now i'm going to come down on the left stick slowly come down keep my gimbal pointed up i'm slowly coming down in altitude and i can keep my gimbal all right so you can do a nice little that wasn't the smoothest but you get the idea so i could come i can use my sticks perfectly fine and the quad is just going to keep flying in a circle until you give it other controls all right that's pretty much all there is to orbit mode using the automated version all right Let's move on to the next one. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I'm a big fan of tripod mode. Tripod mode is by far the easiest way to learn how to fly in circles. I use it all the time. So with tripod mode, it limits the max speed to something like two and a half, three miles an hour. So to fly in a circle, all you really need to do is to do the following. First is to pick your subject. In this example, I'm focused on the top wheel of the crane. Secondly, you want to use your right stick to go full throttle to the right or to the left. 
I'll choose left for this example. Once you have your lateral speed set to full throttle, you want to use your left stick to keep your subject where you want on the screen. That's it. That's essentially all there is to it. One additional tip I can add is to line up your subject, like the crane wheel in this example, in the corners of your grid lines on the DJI Go4 app. So on the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, depending on where your grid lines are and depending on how you want to frame up your shot. So there's no need to only set it up so that your point of interest is in the direct center of your screen. You can put that exactly in the exact corner that you want to make the perfect framing for your shot. All right, <clears throat> let's do this. Take off. The home point has super bright outside today. So what I want to do is I want to do a POI around that big tall building right there. And I don't want to go all the way around it. And I don't want to get real close to it. Because I want to see the things nearby. But I do want to get high enough that you see the rest of the downtown area because that's what I want to focus on. So what I'm doing here is I'm lining up in the crosshairs my target on the left top front, left top part of my screen. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to slowly go to the left with my right stick. And then what I'm going to try to do is once I go left with, the, with my right stick, I'm going to try to keep my target in the crosshairs by using the yaw movements. But I get into the shot first by just doing one stick at a time. All right. So we're moving. Once you get a good speed going, then you want to start going with your stick. Oops, too much. Just ease into it. You'll get to that spot where you just kind of set in. There we go. So now I'm just barely moving to the right. With my stick, my yaw is kind of set with my left thumb. The key is to stay locked on as much as possible on your left yaw, on your left stick, onto some kind of a target. Okay guys, so just to recap, three favorite modes that I use to you to do a orbit with any of the Mavic quadcopters. One is the automated mode and the best thing about that is you can just set it, let it start looping around and you can still have full control of the sticks. You can increase or decrease the radius using the right hand stick or you can or you can increase or decrease the altitude using the left stick. The gimbal's fully functional. Next is tripod mode. What I do with this is I, I use this when I'm looking at a very a small close-up subject because it's going to go so slow. And I still, what I do to, to set this up is I start with the right hand stick and I, I pan to the right full throttle and then I just set in with the left hand stick. I move the yaw in such a way that it stays focused on that left hash mark on the grid on your screen on the phone. Normal mode is the last mode. I don't use that as much. It's much more difficult, but I still use it, and that's better if you're further away from your target. It's a bigger target, like a big, tall building, like we did downtown, and I'll leave it up to you guys to try this in sport mode. I'm sure it can be done, but I don't have the skill set for that, so I'll let you guys deal with that. Okay guys, so that about wraps it up in terms of orbit mode and POI mode. It is a little bit more complicated, but with practice, you can become much better at it than you think you can it just takes a little bit of practice um, so what what tips do you guys have that you use to make a perfect orbit or POI so please drop me a comment below and let's get better at this together so thanks for watching guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video